previously on Oxenfree. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. But, um, yeah, the bridge doesn't look particularly secure. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that the stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. This is crazy. Again? Really? You know, at some point, this is all going to make sense. I just hope it happens before we leave. It's one of those, um, magnetophones. Maybe doing that to fix the loop. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? Let's just keep going and get Ren. Is that Nona? D -d -d don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't move. Nona, come on, it's us. You can see it's us. It's me and Jonas. Nona, we haven't run into you all night. This is the first time. Maybe not you, but it was an Alex and a Jonas. Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? Guys, Jesus, it took you forever to get here. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. Ren! Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. This isn't a guy on drugs. He's possessed. It's possession. He's, yeah, he's clearly possessed. The last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so... Hey, where'd Ren go? Um... That went crap. Can you help us? We're... we're stuck here, and we just want to go home. Grounded. Bye. Adler. So, uh, Margaret? Peggy Adler. That old woman? Ah! Ah! Why? Why is this... why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? The island's haunted, Ren. Guys, anyone? Is this thing working? Hey, she listened to us. Great. <sighs> we should get back there before she freaks out and runs away again. Hello, and welcome. Hello, doers. Welcome back to Dopey Does. This is part four of Oxenfree. I really hope that you will enjoy the video. Oh, man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch? Or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a little cabbage patch field of horse... Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is... I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is it is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? You know, I, uh, I can't even remember. Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But, you know, it's... whatever, that's... that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was the thing you did? I guess. I mean, I, I don't really remember this at all, but... Yeah, sure. And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still laced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? Of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is going to start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. I don't know. I think you probably should have taken the test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? 
Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. Well, I don't regret it. Not really. Ren did a good show, and Mindy got drunk, and it was funny, and the test wouldn't have made me laugh, so... Amen. All right. She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? How can anyone yeah, stand those to listen to me all day? Yeah, cheeks are just made for pinching. Yeah, let's see how she is. And, uh, so give my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it will. doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. We... Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How can you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, alright? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, bring You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, god. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so. That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Look, we tuned into something in the cave and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Ren, what? <sighs> you could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. But I've been, like, stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them... Well, I mean, Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys. This isn't really a... productive. 
it should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Okay, you're arguing 15 things at once now. Do the plan, trust Jonas, leave Ren, like pick a target, or better yet, just don't. Yeah. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Meathead? Just shut up! Both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What?! First you let me sweat it out for like two hours in the woods to go gallivanting around with this guy, and now you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care? I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... <sighs> Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. If a miracle happens and you do happen to get somebody on the horn, run up the road and grab us, okay? Oh, definitely. I wouldn't leave you behind. No hard feelings, right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get... that far. Look. Uh, and I just want to clear the air, too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I, uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why do you, um, why'd you do it? Just... My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm not going to defend myself. Jonas, you know that's no excuse for beating up some random guy. What do you even do besides throw a baseball at you? Nothing. that That's the thing. I mean, it was stupid. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know. Things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever, I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy, okay? Just, you know, don't attack me with a baseball bat or anything.
this is, I wanna, this is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know. I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist, and, but I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Yeah, I could see having some of that stuff could be timely now, just um, for processing this. Like, having some armor. Some aspects of it just um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know. I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but whatever. God, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. She's alive! You, you're alive! Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Uh, Clarissa? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Maybe they want to, maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to, trying to, whatever, to talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? Alex, little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Clarissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this will... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others. Ren and Nona, they've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Okay, or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. <laughs> oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. 
Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chick. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? Clarissa, just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last god knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas! Ugh, you're completely insane! It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters were all secretly talking about you! Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, enough, seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is... Enough! I mean it. Jonas, it... It was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the elves in free. So let's... Wait. What? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, she was. But we're looping again, so... God only knows where she is now. You know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit? But I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets, because just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. This has been part four of Oxenfree. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Let's get in. Come on, Alex. I'll see you in part five. Thank you for watching.